Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we are going to discuss slope stability analysis, and more specifically, we are going to use a free software called Herkin. First, you can see that you have standard snap and ortho settings on the bottom right corner, which can be turned on and off. We will start by creating our bounding geometry. This can be done by selecting external boundary on the top toolbar and then drawing the geometry or by entering precise vertex coordinates on the enter vertex box, which can be found above the snap ortho selections. For this example, we are going to create a 1 to 2 slope, which will be 10 meters high and 20 meters long. You can easily close the external boundary by clicking on your starting vertex while having the snap selection on and your soil domain will be created. You can then select the material boundary icon on the toolbar and subdivide your domain into further layers. In this case, we will only be creating a top and a bottom layer to represent an embankment and its foundation. If you want, you can also add a water table by clicking on the add water table button, which can once again be found on the geometry section of the toolbar. For this example, we will create a water table at minus 2.5 meters at the middle of the bottom layer. After having created the main geometry of the problem, we need to define materials. This can be done by clicking the corresponding icon, now located at the property section of the toolbar. We are going to set properties representing a loose and a dense mixed sand layer, using the more Coulomb strength type, which we will respectively name lower and upper. Finally, the lower material will have a unit weight of 18 kN per cubic meter, a cohesion of 5 kPa and a friction angle of 30 degrees. As for the upper material, these values will now be 21, 5 and 40. When we are done, we can hit apply, and we are ready to go. Next, we can assign material to layers by clicking on the assign properties icon. To do so, we just need to click on the desired material and then on the geometry layer we want to add it to. If we click on the project settings icon, we can select project properties regarding units, language and failure direction on the general tab. Then on the methods tab we have four well-known analysis methods and convergence options and the search method, which we will discuss later. The final tab is the groundwater one, where we can set water unit weight properties. Next, if we click the Define Slope Limits icon, we can select the limits of the analyzed slope. If we don't do that, the software will automatically do so. And that's our main slope created. If we hit Compute, the analysis will run and we will get our factor of safety. We can then go to the Results tab and view the Failure Surface Contour Plot the slices created and a tabular format of the slice data. We can always change the analysis method from the project settings in the model tab and recalculate to compare the results. Now, if we want to reinforce our slope, we need to start by defining our support properties. In this case, we are going to be using grouted tiebacks, but this isn't the only selection Herkin offers. We can then go ahead and add our supports by clicking the Add Support Pattern icon on the toolbar. In this example we want to have 8 meter long tiebacks, which will be placed 5 meters apart from each other, at a minus 10 degree orientation. If we hit Apply, 
we can simply select where we want to place out tiebacks on the model, and we are done. We can then recalculate and see how our factor of safety changed. Now, if we want to add loads, we can always do so from the loading section of the toolbar. In this case, we are going to be placing a 500 kPa uniformly distributed load on the top side of the slope. Once again, we can calculate and see the different results. Finally, we can also add seismic loading. This works in the horizontal and vertical direction, by setting a multiplying coefficient. In this case, we will go with 0.15 in the horizontal direction. So, this was Herkin. We would like to thank you for watching, and also thank Dr. Rusbet Jurelai Mikola for making it available.